Korea circular sent to government employees in Karnataka asking them to dress formally when they come into work has uh, caused up uh, has stirred some trouble. Those that back the co code say it will help members of the public identify government servants and differentiate them from middlemen. This directive, however, has caused questions about whether it's ever fair to tell people what to wear. If you work for the Karnataka state government, you had better put some thought into what you decide to wear to work in the morning. Men must wear a shirt and trousers or a pajama kurta, while women must stick to saris or churidas, according to a circular sent out to all employees. The idea was mooted by senior employees who told their association president that young employees in particular were turning up to work in what they considered inappropriate clothing. They claim the code is nothing new. Just a reminder of existing rules that they say will help improve concentration on work. But shouldn't those people just focus on their work? Why should they be looking at what women are wearing? Why can't women wear what they choose? Why can't women wear what they choose? Many employees, the men and women doing what Vidan Sauda inscription describes as God's work in the Secretariat, welcomed the circular. But the circular mentions younger people in particular. And not all of them were enthusiastic about restrictions. बिल्कुल भी अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है कि कोई ड्रेस कोड को लेके इतना हाईफाई हो रहा है, इतना टेम्पर हो रहा है और इतना स्ट्रिक्टली लागू करने का सोच रहे हैं। इंस्टेड मुझे लगता है कि काम पे आप डिसिप्लिन लाओ, ड्रेस पे नहीं, क्योंकि हम जो भी गवर्नमेंट सर्विस करते हैं, वो लोग मैचर इधर ड्रेस कोड अन्न दे उन दापरादा इधो मिलिट्री प्रबुद्धता अंदरे मिलिट्री आदर्श दल तरतकरण तादो इधो प्रजा प्रबुद्धता दा राज्य। कर्नाटक स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इम्प्लाइज़ हैव नॉट बीन नोन अंटिल नाउ फॉर देर सार्टोरियल डेरिंग, बट दिस ऑफिशियल सर्कुलर हैज़ आस्ट देम टू टोन इट डाउन इवन फर्दर। दे Maya Sharma in Bangalore for NDTV.